morning, good morning, good morning. It's 11 a.m. in the morning, and it's a Friday, Friday, yeah, yeah, Friday, Friday, <laughs> Friday, good morning. Welcome back to the Shed School. It's Key Stage 1 English with me, Mr. Bates. It is Friday, the 22nd of May. What a day. 22nd of May, what a day. It's the end of term, it's the end of term. Oh, <laughs> it means we've got a week off, a week away from the shed. How sad, it is very sad, it's very sad. But don't panic, we will be back after half term. But it's gonna be an all new shed with different times as well. I'm gonna to talk to you more about that later on in the show. But first of all, let's see who we've got in the shed today. We've got Alicia, good morning to you. Good morning, Grace. Good morning, Harry and James. Good morning, Izzy. Good morning, Lottie and Rory. Morning. Morning, Ela and Kishan, good morning. Uh, oh yeah, there you are. <laughs> I read your name, but I didn't read your name, if that makes sense. And good morning to Ellie and Evie, good morning. Good morning to Penelope, Princess Penelope, good morning. Good morning to Sophia, good morning. Good morning to Lola, and Ted, and Jasper, and Chloe Kay, and Bailey and Brooklyn, two Bs, good morning. Uh, and Athena, good morning to you, and Lucy and Summer, hello, and Ula, good morning to you. If I said that right, I hope I said that right. Eula, uh, Eula. Uh, good morning to Vincent and Lily, good morning, and uh, Alexa, and Lillian, good morning to you. Who else have we got? We've got Alana, Alana's back. Alana's back, she's had a snack, she's ready, she's back. Uh, who else we got? We got Bethan, she's in the shed. Ada and Stanley, Kathleen Hall. Good morning, Mr. Bates. Uh, good, Arthur is in the shed and so happy we're doing magic. Arthur, we are gonna be doing some magic together today, which is awesome. Awesome stuff. Good morning to Oliver and Q. Good morning to Florence and Bella and Chester and Lily. And Arush is ready to go. Fantastic, we are so many friendly faces here, all part of the crew. Robin and Roxy are here as well, fantastic stuff. Good morning, Kato. Oh, right, we have got a wicked, wicked little day for us today. So, we are going to look over some of the comics that we've created this week. Awesome stuff, thank you so much to everybody who sent me those. Uh, we are then going to do a mass trick together. That's right, me and you are going to do a mass trick together. Uh, this is going to be crazy. I hope this works. <laughs> um, and uh, then I'm going to teach you a magic trick today. Just as, basically, because it's the end of term, you know. It's the end of term. And we are going to have uh, a week off. We're going to have a week off. We're not going to be here next week, unfortunately. And good morning to Dylan and good morning to Kato and Cameron and Elliot from Western Super Mare. Good morning to you and Brody. Good morning. Good morning to Sky and Sam. And Clark says hi. Hi, Beck. Hi to you, Clark. Hello. So... Um, let's have a little look over the work that we created this week. Let's do that first. I think that's going to be the important thing. I want to see, I want to show you that first. Some of the creations that we've had so far. Let's look over that first. Here we go. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Ah, perfecto. Right. So this week we were making comic books uh, or making comic strips. And I asked you yesterday to come up with a comic strip and write about a character doing something on a journey, telling a story. Uh, there seems to be quite a, a theme of these comic strips that the, most of them were sent in. Mo yesterday, if you're watching, a massive spider joined me in the lesson, which seemed to have influenced quite a few people's story. Uh, Lizzie's in the shed and feeling a little sad. Oh, don't feel sad, Lizzie. Oh, I hope you're okay. Don't feel sad. Hey, it's Friday. Everything good happens on a Friday. Nothing bad happens on a Friday. So, oh, you can always be happy. And hey, you know what? The shed's going to be back. We're off for a week, but then we're going to be back. And I'm, I'm going to explain that in a minute. Let me come, I'm going to come back to it. Right, so there's our little look at our work first. So, here's Elliot. Elliot's five and a half, and he did a cartoon strip of me, Mr. Bates, being scared by a spider, saying, Whoa, that's a huge spider. And the spider thinking, Teehee, I'm not that big. I thought that was brilliant. And look, he's got everything. He's got me dressed as a pirate. And he's got the big spider there. If you were here yesterday, it was a big spider. If you missed yesterday's math lesson, feel free to go back and watch it. It's on, it's on YouTube. It's on Facebook. It's there. I get very scared. And it, I'm not, I know I say, I must say now, I'm not scared of spiders. But this was a particularly fat spider. He was a fatty. He liked his chicken burgers. <laughs> uh, Zach's here. Good morning, Zach. Zach's in the place. 
Um, Harry and James made some fantastic comic slips yesterday using a fantastic program on the computer. It looks lovely. Spider-Boy Creations. Uh, and here says, if I can read it, uh, Welcome to Shed School. Uh, it's, it's my shed. And he's got Mr. Monkey there and ready to learn. He said, Wait, I have something to tell you, Mr. Bates. I'm a spider monkey. No! I thought that was brilliant. Uh, and that was a lovely one there. And uh, the toys there. Here, sorry, it's so, t so tiny on my computer, I can barely see it. Uh, shh, uh, here are my friends, shh, uh, run away, come back. Cuddles. Oh, cuddles, that's lovely. I think that's really nice. Well done, Harry and James, lovely stuff. Um, Oliver and Q. Oliver and Q have created this fantastic story, which I love, about these two bananas. I love bananas, absolutely love bananas. Mr. Monkey really liked this one. This is why this was picked today. Um, yeah, yeah, woo, let's go on holiday. Yeah, woo hoo. Uh, flying to Australia, I can't wait. And he's even added in that onomatopoeia, that zoom. Can you see that? At the back of the plane, zoom. I thought that was awesome. Well done. And then he's on Bandai Beach, man. He's on Bandai Beach. Not that they talk like that. They. I can't do it, I can't do the accent. Um, I love the beach. And then, home sweet home, and the bananas are back from the beach with their little buckets and spade. I thought that was an awesome story. Really, really took me to somewhere else. Literally took me to Bondi Beach. But it was thought out, there was a storyline, two bananas go on holiday, they go to Bondi Beach, they come home again. Lovely, really nice, well done Oliver, that's super stuff. Lovely, lovely, awesome sauce. And we've got Athena's Scary Doll comic. She made a scary story. She made two, actually, but I, thought, I quite like this one. It's a scary story, which is good. good stories can be scary, too. It's quite good. Um, they're quite exciting. They can be a bit scary, as long as it's not too gruesome. But it's quite exciting to write scary stories. Um, and it says, uh, I'm, going to take, uh, I'm going to take you home. And he goes, no! And then one, two, Polly's coming for you. And he goes, run! And, he goes, and then they run away. And it says, to be continued. Which I really like, the to, to, to be continued. Because it gets you thinking, what could happen next? Ooh, what could happen next in Athena's story? Ooh, they run away. Oh, no, maybe they, maybe they go home and it was all a dream. It was all a dream. Or maybe they could kind of go home and they could actually go, hey, I just wanted to be friends with you. And you go, oh, that's quite nice. And it turns from a scary story, you think it's going to be scary, into a nice story. I really like that, Athena. Well done. Really lovely stuff. Really lovely stuff. And we've got Lizzie here. Da -da -da! And she did a fantastic, lovely little comic um, uh, about Bars in the Shed. Um, okay, again, okay, let's, let me make it bigger for me. It's going to make it really big for you. Uh... Uh, hello everybody. Okay, got there. Mr. Monkey's there. Boat in the shed. The end. Perf. I just really love it. Really love the creativity. Really love how it was put together. Uh, and you use the template as well, which is awesome. Really glad you used the template there um, that I posted yesterday. If you did miss yesterday's lesson, don't worry. Like I said, all the videos are up online. Feel free to go back and watch them um, and create your own comic book this weekend. Why not? Why not? And for all of you guys that did do some work this uh, uh over the uh, over yesterday, feel free to add to your comic to make it bigger and to make it into a full comic book. You could do that this weekend. You could do that over half term. Why not turn your uh, starter, your idea, into a bigger idea and make it into a full comic book that you can be really super proud of? Well done to all those people. Please, can we give them all a big marshmallow clap? <laughs> Brilliant, awesome stuff. Well done, well done, well done. Awesome, right. Well, uh, lovely work. We are going to do uh, now. I'm going to. We're going to do a mass trick together. But before we do, before we do do that mass trick, I just want to talk to you a little bit about after half term. So, um, as you know, lots of teachers are having to go back to work on the first of June. That includes me. I am going back to my normal school to teach uh, a very small group of children. Um, so, with that, there will be. Uh, Unfortunately, I won't be able to do live lessons at 10 and 11 o'clock after half term, <laughs> which is really sad. But what we are going to do is run an after school club, okay? An after school club. It will be around five, six o'clock. So it's going to be a little bit later because obviously I need to get back home from work. Um, so it's going to be about five, six o'clock. I will let you know all of the details. So don't panic. These will all be going up on Facebook. They will all be going up on Instagram. Trust me, you will know about it. So that's going to be after half term. 
Eastern, we are going to be running the Shed School and After School Club, okay? It's only going to be for the five weeks of that term till we go to the end of term, which I believe end of term for me is about the 3rd of July. After that, super, super exciting, the Shed School is going to be rolling out every day, all summer, maths and English fun for you. Okay, it's going to be a full summer school. Woo! Oh yeah, there's going to be a full summer school. Um, I can't talk too many about too much about the details at the moment, but uh, there's it's going to be really really exciting. As soon as I can talk about it, I'm going to talk about it. Trust me, it's going to go up. But it's going to be really exciting. You are going to want to join the summer school here in the shed. It's going to be fantastic. There is lots of lots of exciting things happening. Some famous people that are going to be involved. There's going to be some amazing stuff that's going to be happening over this summer. So watch this space. The next five weeks, like I said, it's going to be a bit different. It's going to be after school club. But over the summer, we're going to be back to normal. It's going to be full lessons. It's going to be really, really exciting. Um, we've teamed up with some incredible people. Um, it's going to be awesome. You are not going to want to miss out. Okay, so that is... The Shed School Summer School, or the Shed, how can I say it? The Shed Summer School, the Summer Shed School, the Summer Shed School. Oh, ho, 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 yes, the Summer Shed School. I need to write that down. Um, uh, and then obviously we've got the After School Club as well that's going to be rolling out for the next five weeks. Um, so don't worry, we will be back, okay? We are going to be back. So don't go anywhere. Keep spreading the news. Keep sharing and letting other people know about our community wear your hat proudly and be like yeah i'm part of this cool crew which you are you're a part of it right uh let's get started so uh right what are we doing now then oh of course it's only dilly -dilly 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 magic mass time oh yes so we are going to do some magic together me and you that's right me and you are going to do some magic right now how's this going to work well we're going to find out i all you need is a piece of paper and a pen Okay, piece of paper and a pen. That's all you need. Piece of paper and a pen. You got it, one? You got it? Perfect. Right. First of all, I am going to write down a number. I am going to write down a number. Uh, I'm going to pick a number. Um, okay, I'm going to pick a number. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. I've got one. I've got it. I've wrote it down on my piece of paper. Uh, I'm going to fold my piece of paper up, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this piece of paper just here. Okay, I'm going to put it here, so, you, actually, no, I'll tell you what. Uh, I'm going to tape it to my hat. Then you'll be able to see it, then, won't you? So what I'm going to do is tape, put it there, and I'm going to tape it, I'm going to tape it to my hat there. That way you can see it for the whole way through, okay? Well, there you go. Got it? See it? Yeah? It's there? Super. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Right. Now it comes to your bit. It comes to your bit. Okay. Ba -ba! You can see in front of you now a grid from 1 to 16. From 1 to 16. I would like you to choose one of those numbers. Okay? Choose one of those numbers. Once you've chosen it, I would like you to write it down on your piece of paper. Okay? Any of the numbers. can be any one that you like. Any number that's on there in front of you. Pick one and write it down on your piece of paper. Okay? That's your first bit. You done that? You got it? Let me know when you've done that. I'm going to sit in my copy. Ah, the Summer Shed School. That's got quite a ring to it. I need to write that down. The Summer Shed School. Honestly, I can't wait to talk to you about what's going to happen over this summer. It is so exciting. Uh, right. Cool. Don't tell me what your number is. Don't tell me what your number is. Just write it down. Super. So you've got one number that you wrote down. Perfect. Lovely. Don't tell me what your number is. Don't write it on there. Don't write it in the comments box. Um, this is a one time only. You don't need to write it down. Just write it down on your piece of paper, okay? Because I am going to predict your number in a minute. Yeah, that's right. I am going to read your mind. <laughs> so, you've chosen one number. Okay, perfect. Now, step number two. I would like you to choose another number. I would like you to choose another number. But, but before you do... This number cannot appear on the same row or the same column as your previous number. What does that mean? Well, let me show you. <clears throat> if I chose the number 3, for example, as my first number, I couldn't choose any of these numbers as my second number because they appear on the same row and the same column. 
So I couldn't have one or two or four or seven or 11 or 15. All right? So I could choose any of the other numbers. <clears throat> Excuse me. I could have five or six or nine or 10 or 13, but I couldn't choose any of those ones in red. For example, obviously you haven't chosen number three, or you might have done, but you've chosen your own number. So it just can't appear on the same row or the same column. Okay, all good. You should now have two numbers. You should now have two numbers. Morning, Miss McHughes. Miss McHughes, not Miss, Mr. <laughs> Morning, Matt. Um, you got it? Perfect. So we should have one number and then another number next to it. Perfect. I would now like you to choose another number. So now you should have three numbers. But again, it cannot appear on the same row or the same column as your first two numbers. Okay. <laughs> so, for example, if I was to choose number 10 as my second number, I couldn't then choose any of these numbers because they're on the same row and the same column. Okay. All good. So you should have one number, two numbers, three numbers, but they all can't appear on the same row or the same column. So if I've got 3 and 10, my third number could be 5, 8, 13 or 16, okay? Because it doesn't appear on the same row or the same column as any of the other numbers. All good? We should now have three numbers on our piece of paper. Oh dear, I have a new number now. Oh no. <laughs> okay, and our fourth step. Fourth step. I would like you to choose one final number, but your final number, again, cannot appear on the same row or column as any of your previous numbers. Okay? <laughs> For example, three, if I chose three and then ten, and I chose eight as my third number, I couldn't then have sixteen or five as my other numbers. I, have to, I would have to choose thirteen because it's the only number left that doesn't appear on the same row or column. All right? Perfect. So there would be my four numbers. 3, 8, 10, 13. Yours could be very, very different to that. I don't know. I couldn't possibly know what your number is going to be. How could I? How could I? Now, I would like you to do the following. I would like you to add together all your numbers. Add together all four numbers and write your total underneath. Add together all four numbers and put your total underneath. And once you've got that, I want you to stare deeply into the screen. Mm, stare at the screen. And what I'm going to do is read your mind, OK? I'm going to read your mind. OK, you ready? You added all them up? You got them all there? So you should have four different numbers. None of them appear on the same row or the same column. OK, added them all up. I hope you've got this one right. So stare into the screen for me. Stare into the screen. And send your number to me. To really think about your number. If you need to, you can say your number. Say it to me. Right. I think I've got it. I think I've got it. What I need you to do is say your number for me. Say your number for me. Say it out loud. And I'm going to hope that I have read your mind correctly. Remember that piece of paper that I wrote a number on at the beginning that I stuck to my hat? There'd be no way of me knowing your four numbers that you've all added together because I they're totally picked at random. I wrote on my hat your number. Your number is the number 34. Did I get it right? Yeah. Yay. If it's not right, we may have added up a little bit incorrectly. <laughs> da 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 da. 34! Fantastic! Woohoo! Uh, I hope that worked for everybody. That was quite a lot of instructions. Um, but if it did, awesome! Did it work? Did I meet Weedy Mind? Did any. Did, yeah? No? No? <laughs> It is perfect, lovely. It all depends on whether you got the uh, the adder on the right ones, but but thirty four. I predicted your number. Perfect, lovely, lovely, lovely. Thirty three, thirty four, lovely, excellent. 
34, brilliant, lovely, lovely. Harry's was 34, excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, super stuff, well done everybody. Now, I'm gonna explain that trick to you. It's a very simple math trick. Um, the answer would have to be 34, um, regardless. I know, I know, I, I'm kind of tricked you there, uh, kind of tricked you. Um, with, <laughs> with this, uh, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you. Uh, any number on the column or row, any choosing numbers you chose would end up adding to up to 34. It's a good one to do. Do with your friends and family. They can choose any number. It will always add up to 34. If it didn't add up to 34, it, the numbers didn't appear on the same row. Or they did appear on the same row or the same column. Uh, it's a wicked trick for you to do. Um, brilliant stuff. Well done, well done, well done. Awesome stuff. Right, I'm going to teach you an actual magic trick now. Uh, not just a mass one. I'm going to teach you an actual one. Here we go. Open it up. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Right, here we go. So... A little magic trick for you to do over the half term. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining in. Um, takes a lot of maths uh, adding up that one. Uh, perfect. Here we go. So, uh, I've got this piece of paper here. It's a tissue. It's a napkin. It's a napkin. But the thing is, I don't really want this one, so I'm going to rip this one up. Whoop. Oh, my screen. Come back open, please. Open the cup. Face I do. There we go. There we go. You have a lovely little picture of me and Mr. Monkey in the woods. <laughs> right. Um... Uh, I have to go to work now. Oh, Matt. Bye, Matt. Bye. Go and have a lovely day at work. Uh, right. Uh, I don't really want this napkin, so I'm going to rip this one up. Rip this one up there. And take it on there. And take it on there. And take it on there. Yeah. And take it on there. Yeah. Oh, I've dropped it. Oh, here we go. I've dropped it. Um, and there we go. I'm going to fold it and 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 fold it. Right, right. Now, um, do you know any magic words? Uh, uh. Oh, I tell you what. We could say shed crew. Yeah, that would be cool. Let's say Shed Crew on the count of three. Are you ready? One, two, three. Shed Crew! Hey! Well, something's happened. Okay, you ready? You watch him? Hey! Look at that! All the napkin has stuck back together again. Hey, <laughs> da 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 da. As if by magic in front of your very eyes, ripped up and put back together again. Rip and restore. Da 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 da. Woo! The crowd got crazy. Marshmallow clapping. Woo! <laughs> Fantastical. <laughs> Awesome, awesome stuff. Right, um, I am going to teach you uh, a little trick now, all right? Arthur is in his bedroom too, brilliant. Uh, I'm gonna teach you a little trick. Uh, okay, you ready? It's nice and simple. I'm gonna teach you how to do that. It's a really simple trick. It looks awesome, um, it, but it's really, really easy for you to do, okay? It's, it's a really simple trick. All you need is some of this. Kitchen towel, da -da. that's all you need, some kitchen towel, all right? So all you need is two pieces of kitchen towel, okay? Two pieces of kitchen towel, okay? So, one, I'm gonna rip it off there, whoop, and two, whoop, perfect. I got two pieces of kitchen towel, okay? Two pieces of kitchen towel. Now, before the trick, before you show your mums or dads or anyone you're gonna show this trick to, there's a little bit of setup that you need to do. With any magic trick, you need to do a little bit of setup just to make sure things are prepped, it's all ready to go. So, I'm gonna take one of my uh, napkins and all I'm gonna do is screw it up into a ball. I'm screwing it up into a tiny, tiny ball, as small as I can get it, like that, all right? So it kind of looks like a little flower. Ooh, it's like a little cupcake. It's a little napkin cupcake. Ooh, mm -hmm, yummy. Awesome sauce. <laughs> so I've got a little tiny napkin like that. Perfect. Right, and now with my uh, other napkin, all I'm going to do is put my cupcake into the top left-hand corner like that. And I'm placing my thumb behind it. So I'm kind of hiding it, really. I'm kind of hiding it in my hand like that. Kind of hiding it in my hand. All right. If you want to follow along with me at home and you've got some napkins, brilliant. If not, re-watch this video and you can teach yourself a bit later. So, we now have one napkin with a screwed up napkin behind. So you show your 
audience or your mum or dad or your brother or sister or whoever you want to do this um like this you go oh look i've got a napkin here la 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 la, la. obviously don't show them the back so show them the front look i've got a napkin mm, but i don't want this napkin so i'm going to rip this one up and then all you do is rip it up okay so to be very careful all i'm going to do is rip up the napkin Whoop. but as i do i'm then placing the ripped up pieces in front of the rest of the napkins all right, so I'm going to rip it off and place it in front. I'm ripping it off and place it in front. Rip it off and place it in front. All right, that's pretty small now. That looks pretty ripped up, right? Cool. I'm then going to fold my bits around like that. Do, do, do. So I folded the ripped up bit and behind it is the completed napkin, okay? I'm then going to put it into my hand. Okay, I'm going to put it into my other hand, but as I put it into my hand, I'm, I'm going to turn my hand over. I'm turning it over to place into my hand like that, and then I'm going to squeeze it all together. Squeeze it all together. The reason I'm turning it round is so that I put the ripped up pieces to the back of my hand and the whole napkin to the front of my hand. So then when it comes to revealing it, it's at the front. Otherwise, if you reveal the, broke <laughs> the ripped up bits, You'd be like, oh, that's a rubbish magic trick. You've ripped up a napkin and you've ripped it up again. <laughs> so, you squeeze it together and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze. And then, all you do is you take it apart and you pull the complete napkin open. As you can see, I'm keeping my ripped up bit behind. Keep my ripped up bit behind. Um, opening it up, opening it up, opening it up. Like that, to then go, wow, look, I've stuck it all back together again. Da, 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 da. But secretly, da, 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 I have the ripped up pieces in my hand, which is kept behind the napkin. Like that. Da, 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 da. How cool, I stuck it all back together again. Woo! Oh. You show your audience the completed napkin, they will go, oh my goodness, that's amazing. And whilst you discreetly either put that in your pocket or keep it in your hand and uh, just keep it nice and loose like this, like a little meerkat. Oh, thank you for my magic. I must go now. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Super. So that is your little magic trick for you guys to, um, to little, uh, give a little practice at home. I hope you guys uh, can do that one. It's a pretty cool one, isn't it? It's quite an easy one to do. It's just ripping and restoring. And um, that's awesome stuff. We are going to be doing more of those uh, uh, over the summer, I'm sure. I am sure I can't talk too much about it. This is what's exciting. I can't give you too much information about it because it's going to be awesome. Uh, awesome. So that's our little magic trick for today. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Give yourself a big marshmallow clap. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Right, well, I thought I'd end today's lesson um, with reading um, a couple of silly little poems. Um, this is from one of my favourite books called Twinkle Twinkle Chocolate Bar. I love this book. Uh, fantastic. Did it to my sister and my mum. And Brilliant. Well done, little brown. I'm not sure your first name, but well done. That's awesome. Um, stay here for the moment, though. Don't run away. Make, make sure you watch this first, and then we can, then you go and show them. <laughs> awesome. Um, so I thought I'd read you a little poem today. Uh, this is from one of my books, uh, one of my favourite books that I really, really like. Uh, it's got some wicked poems in that are some of my favourites. Some of my favourites. Uh, which one should we go for? Mm, uh, ooh, ee, ooh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Mm -mm. La 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 la. Uh, I want the. Uh, where's it gone? I should have marked it here. Should have marked it, shouldn't I? Here we go. Here is one of my favourites. I absolutely love this story, this poem. It is by Tony Bradman. It is called The Sandwich. Okay, it's called The Sandwich. Oh, what shall I have today for my tea? I know a sandwich as big as can be. I'll start with some bread, two slices, quite large, and I'll slap in some jam, oh yeah, and some marge. I'll put in some cheese and a tomato or two, oh, and maybe an onion. This big one will do. 
I'll bung in some lettuce and a radish, of course, and a sizzling burger, all covered in sauce. <laughs> I'll add in some chicken and maybe some chips, some biscuits, an apple, a packet of crisps, a cake with some candles, some chocolate, one bar, spaghetti, banana, sweets from a jar, big beans and humbugs and carrots and mustard, all topped off with cream and steaming hot custard. <laughs> now that is a sandwich you really can't beat. It's packed full of goodies, a real tasty treat. <laughs> There's only one problem and it's breaking my heart. It's such a big sandwich. Where do I start? <laughs> Look how big that sandwich is. Whoa. And that is the sandwich by Tony Bradman. Fantastic. One of my favourite poems ever. That one. Probably because it contains food. And I love food. Right. Well, that's all we've got time for for today. Um, but, oh, of course, we got Mr. Monkey. Where is he? Mr. Monkey. Come on out. Come on out, Mr. Monkey. Boys and girls. Please go crazy for Mr. Monkey! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo! Mr. Monkey! What? You don't want to come out? Why don't you want to come out, buddy? You're sad? Oh, no, why are you sad? You don't want it to end. Well, it's not, the thing is, it's not ending. We're only finishing the term. It's not finishing forever, is it? I know, I know. Come on out, come on out, buddy. No, I know, I know. Look, like I explained to all the boys and girls earlier, we're just having a week. It's half term. I know it's half term, and then we're going to be back after half term with an after school club, which is going to be brilliant. The shed school after school, awesome. And then after that, we've then got the the, the summer shed school. <gasps> I know, I know. Can we tell them? No, we can't tell them the details of it yet because. We, we've got to wait a bit. But it's going to be brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, are you excited? Yeah, Mr. Monkey's super excited. I'm really excited too. It's going to be awesome. Awesome stuff. Now, of course. All right, so yeah, of course. Mr. Monkey um, has needs to tell you to um, please, 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 please get your votes in for the Telegraph. Um, the link is in the comments box. Please give us a vote. You can vote every day if you want to, um, I believe. Um, you can do more than one vote. So please do. Um, it's for the Community Hero Award from The Telegraph. We would love to uh, win it to um, just, to, yeah, just, it would just be amazing to win it really. Um, and it, obviously it's the Community Award. What we do here is for the community. It's for you guys. It's the Shed School community that I love uh, and what it's all about. So wouldn't it be amazing to, to win that and have that attached to the shed school which would be awesome so please 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 do give us a, a little vote on there also yeah absolutely we've still got some shed school caps for sale if you would like one we will be continuing uh, to sell things over half term info at the shed school.co.uk I know I need to get you one as well <sighs> You wouldn't believe how hard it is to get hold of a tiny, tiny cap. Yeah, a tiny one. It's very tricky. Um, I know, everybody. I know. Well, I know what. We will see everybody after half term, uh, probably on the 1st of June. Uh, it'll be the after school club, won't it? It's going to be different. It's going to be new because all of this is going to change. So what? Uh, I know. It's going to be the all new after school shed school. Uh, he's going to be here. I'm going to be here. Are you going to be here? I hope so. I hope so. They are going to be here, aren't they? Yeah. Out, 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 out. Stop it. Calm down. Oh, he's getting very excited now. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's going to be awesome. Stop it. Slow down. Whew, right. Well, boys and girls, that's all we've got time for today and for this term. But we will see you all after half term at our all new after school club. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to absolutely love it. It's going to be amazing, isn't it? It's going to be so much fun. Uh, we will see you all after half term. Enjoy. Uh, stay safe. Stay creative. Say goodbye, Mr. Monkey. Goodbye, Mr. Monkey. And we'll see you later on. All right. Bye, everybody. We'll see you all very, very soon. Take care. Goodbye. Bye, everyone. See you soon. Goodbye.
Let's go.